This is a 1966 Ford Thunderbird convertible. My name is Michael Stanton. I own Super Sport Motors. Supersportmotors.com is my website. Here in Clinton, New York, 13323, right in the center of New York State. So again, this is a 1966 Ford Thunderbird convertible, if you can't tell. There's a lot of things about this car that make it special. I'm going to do my best to keep this video under, let's call it 12 minutes. I don't want to bore you. But if you're looking for a 66 Ford Thunderbird convertible, that is probably in the top five in the whole country of this year. You're going to be very, very pleased with this car. I think I've taken 300 photos. Please go to my website again because what I do as I post this video on YouTube, I link it to my website and I put all the photos on there as well. Just for the uh, person who wants to spend the time and really go through the photos, scrutinize the car, and make sure it's what you want. 95% of the people that buy a, an old car from me don't ever actually come out to my house, although I encourage and press everybody to do that. Most people, because my cars sell all over the planet, don't have the ability to come out and look at it so I enjoy taking the videos and the photos and the time uh, to show everybody these cars now some of you know that I own this car and you've known that I've owned this car for quite a while because if you go to my website under my personal car section this is one of the cars that uh, has been in my personal collection for at least five years I bought it down in Florida about five years ago and I've lived every moment I have spent with this car but as with most car collectors like myself, there comes a day when you must part ways. And usually you're parting ways when you own a lot of cars, like a lot of collectors do like myself, because uh, it's time to go buy another collector car. <laughs> and that's the case here. So let me see if I can rattle off everything on this car. This car is just completely loaded. It was frame off restored. Now you're not gonna find too many Shelby's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me correct that rather. Too many Thunderbirds that have been frame off restored because you get cars like the Corvettes uh, and the Shelbys, of course, and other vehicles like that that are way, way more high dollar cars and they get the frame off restorations because they get the money back out of them. Usually not the case with the Thunderbirds. Now, this is hard to believe, but I have somewhere between ninety-five and ninety-six thousand dollars of hardcore receipts. You can look at every single line. And you can see that it is absolutely the truth. That is what it cost to do a frame-off restoration in this car 21 years ago. It was done at an agency out in um, Arizona or Colorado. I forget now. I think it was Colorado. But I have all of the receipts. I have all of the photos and everything. You can see the engine out of the car. You can see the engine being tore apart. Everything is validated and proved. Now I bought the car with 2,250 miles on it. That's what was on the odometer. I'm not sure if you can see, but it says 4,297. So I guess I put 3,000 miles on it. I'm sorry, 2,000 miles. You do the math, whatever that is, minus 2,250. And what a beautiful car it is. Now, have I mentioned it's a 428? While we're singing the 428 song, let me uh, open up the hood here if I can do it with one hand and we'll take a look at it. I'm going to set the phone down for one second. And I'm back. Q code in 1966 is the big, beautiful 345 horse Ford 428. Now I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, that the normal 390 that came in these, which was probably 95% of them, um was 315 horse and this one's 345. now it's not a catastrophic difference in speed but for sure you can tell the difference the condition of this car is absolutely unsurpassed you're talking about a thunderbird that's burned frame off restored you got a 428 q code in it that it's brand new. So that 428 only has 4,000 miles on it. In other words, it just barely is broken in. And when I say it runs perfect, it runs perfect. It's got hardened valve seats and stems and everything so you can run 
normal unleaded gas through although I would highly recommend doing what I've been doing for at least five or six years now which is to run um, non-ethanol 93 octane through these things they run better you don't wear out any of the seals or anything like that now let's go look inside I apologize it's a little windy here today in Clinton New York but you should be able to hear me okay now this piece right here comes off you just take off these two little screws right here and it comes off and then you got a four seater so I'm not gonna take it off now I'm not gonna put the top up and down because it takes too long the top works fine everything on the car works fine I don't even know if I can tell you about even one thing on this car that actually uh, is not working lest I eat my words right now <clears throat> let me see Can you see it ticking away like a champ? Was it 20 of, or, I don't know. Same time, okay? Works perfectly. Air conditioning works perfectly. You can tell air conditioning, uh, you can tell that Thunderbirds that have air conditioning by this whole ensemble right here, okay? Air conditioning works perfectly, as well as like, uh, can you see that right there? The door jar, that works. There's things that are working on this car that uh, that just went off, didn't it? Let's go back on again. <laughs> Turn it off. Maybe it doesn't come on when the... That's your fasten seatbelt sign there. Let me close the door and see if I can get it to come back on again. Close the door. Well, whatever. <clears throat> I'll turn the key on at the end, and you'll see that that lights up. Electric windows, check this out. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is called the cat's ass. Those windows are awesome. You're going down the road in a hot summer day with that air conditioning blowing on you. All you got to do is turn those little vent windows and it blows it right at the parts you want it to blow at. Don't take that the wrong way. Now there's your cruise control. There's all your gauges. Map light, clock, wipers, and everything is right there. There is your original, slightly worn 1966 Ford Thunderbird manual, as well as your cigarette lighter and ashtray, and it works. Again, along with all the lights and everything. Okay. Do I need to say the car is in just about perfect condition with a frame off restoration having been performed in 1998? The car has only had about 4,000 miles on it since that time, of which I've put probably, what, 2,100 miles on it? Never broke down. It's a beautiful car. If you look really closely at the carpet, you'll see that the, this part of the carpet is a little bit more blue than the edge there. That's simply because I took the floor mats out last week, and um, the carpet had faded a little bit, but that's it. So you'll get the original dark blue Ford um, Thunderbird floor mats that go with the car the floor plate does not go that's just decoration so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over here and you'll see these in my photographs so many people say oh my god it costs a quarter million dollars to make the car but you know what they can't prove it yet I don't know if you can see this or not but it says 4900 21,000 1600 66,000 when you add it all up, it comes out to $95,577. I left these notes for myself. It took three years to restore this car. And I wrote down polyurethane paint simply because I saw it in the um, description. Now I'm going to take a picture of this statement here. But this is the actual statement from when before they started the restoration on the car. And... Uh, Please take the time to read it because it's amazing what they did. When this car was frame off restored, they did everything. Everything. Springs, shocks, engine, seats. It cost $8,000 just for the white leather interior. Full white leather interior. Okay, so now... Yes, the car was originally red. Changed to the Robin's Egg blue there. So keep that in mind. 
even the floor mats like in here and other photos I have you can see that they lined everything with um, dynamat which is that stuff that uh, makes the interior nice and quiet here's a cool picture for you right here the before and after notice that um, it has the fender skirts on in this photo I took them off I like it better without them, but of course the car comes with those uh, fender skirts. It's amazing how much different the car looks with the fender skirts on it uh, without the tonneau cover in the back. Completely different looking car. Beautiful both ways. Here's some more photos up here. You can see the car was simply, completely and thoroughly disassembled and frame off restored. It took three years for God's sakes. Probably the best uh, restoration I've ever seen on a car. Let's see if I can. This just kind of lists uh, some of the things that were done on the car. And honestly, uh, there's too many things for me to actually go over and list to you what was done on the car. But the bottom line is, you're getting essentially a brand new 1966 Ford Thunderbird convertible with the Tanu cop, with a brand new top inside, white top, it works fine. Everything in the car works really good. I, uh, I'm sure there's something that may not be working perfectly like the cruise control, because I don't think I've ever tested that, but everything else works good. Like I said, AC blowing cold, car runs good and strong, straight and true. I can't imagine somebody not being completely thrilled not only with this car, but a, with a car of this quality. So my name again is Michael Stanton. My website is supersportmotors.com. I'll consider a trade, just because it's fun for me. I'm certain you could jump in this car and drive it anywhere. I might deliver to you if I can. I've got a feather light trailer, but I, you know, I only go like an hour from my house maybe. But talk about a car that's just in phenomenal condition. So again, please look at all my photos. I want everybody to do that. Take some moments here and just kind of show you the car as best I can. That white leather interior is just to die for. It's so comfortable and if you're not that familiar with the convertible lifestyle, white is what you want. Black may look cool to certain people, but you don't want a black interior convertible, especially if you do a lot of driving in the daytime. I apologize for the wind. There you have it. I wish I could say more, but this car is just so phenomenal. It's so incredible. Uh, you're going to be very pleased with this car. In every aspect, especially with that 428, I mean, there's certain things in this car that just stick out that a lot of T-Birds just do not have. And I forgot something very important. One of the main reasons I bought this car, I'm 200 pounds and at five foot nine, I guess I'm about average. If any of you look very closely at Thunderbirds of this vintage, you'll find that the front seat always sits just a little bit too close to that steering wheel. This is the only Thunderbird I've ever sat in or seen in my life where the front seat goes back far enough that you're extremely comfortable in this car. I don't know if it's because of the fact that the steering wheels come out so far or if people were just shorter in 1966. I don't know. But the bottom line is, if you don't believe me, go sit in 10 66 Thunderbirds, then come sit in this one. And you're going to see quite a difference. You really are. And you know what I love in this car? nighttime driving with all of those gauges turning green and then the speedometer see that white line the speedometer turns red as you go faster and faster faster and faster you go that line turns red it's just the coolest thing you turn up that beautiful radio four speakers in the door radio sounds beautiful everything about the car is just truly truly outstanding please call me with any questions i know a lot about this car I don't know everything, but I do know th certain things about the rarity. I do know in 66, they only made about 3% of the Thunderbirds were in convertibles. I do not know percentage-wise how many had 428s, but I do know 
a car of this caliber in this color with a 428 as a 66 which in my opinion is without a doubt the only air convertible to have I think they're stunning same year as the Thelma and Louise Thunderbird and in that color my god it's gonna make you happy so please give me a call 315-853-1967 I went over my 12 minutes I apologize but I think the car deserved for me to be able to expound upon it as much as I possibly can. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video.